Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another minifigure Monday. And this week it's Tina Goldstein from the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts CMF series. That was quite a mouthful. Now, I passed this figure over to Ian and he's like, oh, well, this is, he, he already knew which series it was from, just to clarify. And he went, oh, this is one of those um, ones from the, the posh French school, isn't it? Because he'd forgotten that it was the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Um, series and neither of us have seen any of the Fantas Fantastic Beast films so we have no idea who Tina Goldstein is. I've looked her up apparently she is the love interest of Newt so you know there's some detail for you but yeah he assumed that she was one of the the children or teachers from the the French school that comes to compete in the Triwizard Cup. Ian said it was odd because he was assuming she was a French girl that she's wearing uh, that she's holding a hot dog he reckoned that she'd more likely be eating frog's legs and pity for Lou, which made me laugh quite a lot. I said, is that what French people eat? So, yeah, frog's legs and pity for Lou. So, you know, he's a bit special. I thought he would try and say hot dog in French, but then I remembered he can't speak French. So we both like the hat piece on this. It's always good when you get a hat with the hair attached. And it's quite a, a unique looking hat. I do like it. Ian said, though, because she's holding that hot dog, she doesn't look very happy about it, does she? Her face is proper grumpy. Also, the hot dog itself is not like the normal colour you find in Lego hot, hot dogs. That It's a darker bun and a darker sausage, so it looks a lot more realistic. She's holding her wand a little bit crooked here, it would seem. Uh, that's probably not her fault. But her outfit seems pretty smart. Let's move her hot dog out of the way. She's got like a an overcoat on. And then a jacket underneath. Good sort of layering going on. So I'm just going to check for that alternate face. So she's slightly happy there. Maybe that's what she should look like when she's eating the hot dog. So where in the city are we going to put Tina Goldstein? I think it's, again, a struggle on whether she ends up in the city because she's a very specific character but I don't because I don't know this character I kind of feel like she she can fit in more if I wanted to swap her out for flesh uh, non-flesh colored that would be quite difficult because there is the printing on her torso with the flesh color so I'm still not 100% sure on whether we will mix colors in the city I think it should be fine to just have all the different skin tones and not worry about it I'm purist lego but this is pure lego so it doesn't really bother me but yeah, if she's in our actual city, she can just wander along. She looks like a pretty normal person. So if you've seen Fantastic Beasts and know that she's not normal, please do let me know in the comments. Also let me know where you'd put her in your city. And if you want to see any more Minifigure Mondays, then I'll link up the Minifigure Monday playlist at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.